Ms. Jyoti Mani, first up, congratulations, ma'am. It's been a while uh, and a long uh, fight for you, uh, your party, for Rahul Gandhi. He's uh, a big uh, ruling from the Supreme Court. Uh, do you see him being reinstated soon? Yeah, thank you so much. Satya Meve Jayate. Truth alone triumphs. That's what uh, we believe. Uh, Rahulji uh, continuously uh, saying the same thing. Uh, when his membership is disqualified, he was unfairly convicted for uh, two years. He was thrown out of the house. Uh, despite all the odds, we, we the Congress party and Mr. Rahul Gandhi on the India Alliance and the people of this nation strongly believe uh, we, will won this, we will win this battle. Um, and also uh, why Rahul Gandhi is uh, thrown out of the parliament is everybody knows. Uh, because he's a, he's a lone voice with a lot of commitment and aggression, a lot of... Uh, truth uh, attacking the anti-people Modi government. He exposed the corruption of the Adani and, and Modi in the floor of the parliament. And his Bharat Jodha Yatra attracted millions of uh, people across the country. So they obviously feared for Rahul Gandhi. That is why this injustice done to him. Finally, uh, as I said, uh, truth uh, prevailed. Uh, it's a really very big day for us, big day for the Indian democracy, big day for people of India. It's not only Congress party. Okay. But, you know, uh, Ms. Jyoti Mani, I want to ask you the question. Do you see him come back to Parliament very quickly? Because uh, the press conference that was held by your own political party two hours ago, uh, your party president, Mr. Kharge, uh, did say, and he seemed skeptical, where he suggested that it took less than 24 hours to disqualify him as an MP at the back of what the High Court said. It remains to be seen how quickly he's going to be reinstated at the back of what the Supreme Court has said. See, given, given this uh, uh, Narendra Modi's uh, government past track record, they don't believe in any rules, they don't believe in any convention, they don't uh, believe in any fair practices. Uh, going by that, actually, uh, my party president, Honorable Gargeji, has all reason to be skeptical. But I don't, uh, they cannot make it more obvious than this. Because unfortunately, they, <laughs> what is the point is that they don't want Rahul Gandhi uh, uh, coming to the parliament and speak against his government. But the prime minister of this country, who, who still has the membership, he still is the prime minister of this country, couldn't come to parliament. He's hiding from the parliament. Uh, now with the opposition party in the history of Indian parliament has to move a no confidence motion to, brought the, uh, to bring the prime minister into parliament. In such a scenario, I don't think uh, this Narendra Modi government and BJP can go to the, that extent by blocking uh, Mr. Gandhi uh, coming into the parliament even after the Supreme Court has stayed the uh, Gujarat High Court and uh, lawyer court uh, judgment. Uh, this entire country will uh, okay. see what they are going to do on Monday. Uh, in, my, in my view, this government can do anything, but we will not uh, be uh, quiet to uh, whatever the government is doing. We, the inj injustice done to him in, uh, already. Now, Supreme Court made it correct. Now, the it's, it's a government, it's, uh, it, it's a secretariat uh, to uh, immediately uh, uh, reinstate him. That's a fair thing to do. Anybody can uh, expect the same thing.